When it comes to structure, no matter where I'm gardening, whether it's for a client or here at the garden home retreat or at my home downtown, I really like buildings that serve both beauty and function. And that's the way I consider this little hobbyist greenhouse. It's really very handy to have around because I use it to store a lot of my tropical plants through the winter. And it's still just a little too cool to bring out the olive trees, the citrus, and some of the agaves and so forth that I keep in there throughout the winter. The other thing that's so nice about it is that I have it surrounded by a needlepoint holly hedge. It kind of keeps the wind off of it and it is contained within its own little courtyard, if you will. We've covered this with pea gravel so we can set containers of plants. You can see I'm well on my way with some potted vegetables in the way of broccoli and red cabbage and even we've dared to put out a few tomatoes even though it may get cold but we can just put them right back in the greenhouse if temperatures are too threatening. This is a wonderful place for me to go in the winter and start seedlings but for some of my friends who are in the horticulture business well their greenhouse they depend on. John Backard is the chief horticulturist at Churchill Downs and believe me he puts his greenhouse to work. All right, come on in, take a look. So this is where it all starts. This is the place. My goodness, look at all of these plants and what variety. Now you rotate a lot of crops in and out of here because of all the seasonal changes you do. Yeah, we do uh, about 30,000 annuals for the spring and then turn around and do 14, 15,000 uh, things for the fall. And in between, we've got our tropicals and things that we overwinter. You know, we follow that. I end up mixing a lot of tropicals in with my containers, especially in that area, you know, areas like the paddock that are hot and heat up quick. You know, I use a lot of things like cana in there and I'll use hibiscus and heliconia, things like that. I noticed uh, when we walked in that you had those beautiful euphorbia catanifolias. Oh, those are fabulous. Yeah, those are really good. I, I, that's a, one that I wasn't really familiar with until this year. First year I've grown it. And I, you know, one thing I like about tropicals, Alan, is they're just so fast. I fished out a tree form of that in seven months. Well, I think that's one of the things that makes it such a fun place to visit and a fun place to work. It is a fun place to work.